and hanging out with Angela Bass and Cal Mitchell. Y'all give it up. Are y'all into cars? You like cars? I do like cars. I do too. Me too. Yeah. Old, new, it doesn't matter. Like I just more. like cars. I like them more fun. if I understood them more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, my next guest can help you. <laughs> she <laughs> is a rarity among her peers. That's because she owns and operates an auto repair shop. Now, she also helps young girls understand their way around a car. Let's say hi to Ashley, everybody. Give it up. Yeah. So meet Kel, meet Angela. Hi, nice to meet you both. You're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so happy to be here. So I'm freaking out too. I, I'm right? so excited. Mm. Um, so I, you didn't set out to work on cars, right? I didn't. I didn't think I was going to work on cars what or work in. What was your initial in... kind of dream? So I wanted to be a virologist, somebody who studies viruses. I went to the University of Colorado in Boulder. Um, I did that for a little bit, but halfway into it, my dad was like, hey, Ash, I want you to be a part of the business, and I want to retire, so oh. why don't you come and, you know, see if we can make this work. And so I... Wow, um, was that, like, an easy decision or hard? That's... Honestly, at the time, I was like, this is going to be the easiest thing I ever had to do, and it is the hardest thing I have ever had to do in my entire <laughs> oh, life. Oh, my God. So it was, it's been great, though. Um, I went to the Automotive Training Institute, and pretty much I did a lot of hands-on training with my dad. He was like, you just have to to listen and like apprenticeship. Learn. Exactly, yeah, yeah. exactly. And um, my, unfortunately, my dad passed away two years ago, but oh, I so own sad. and run the business now, and I've been doing that for the last 12 years, so. Wow. How cool it was that you got to work with him for that you amount know, of time, you know? side by side, you know, the family business, it's like, uh, yes, good, bad, but it was the best thing. I'm glad I had those memories with yeah. him. So, definitely, oh, that's, definitely. It's that's amazing. really cool. Yeah. Um, do customers, do they treat you differently when they roll up and they're like, I got a problem? Do they ask for, like, a mechanic? Do they ask for somebody else? <laughs> a lot of times on the phone, I'll get, hey, can I talk to a mechanic and I say, ask me the question. If I can't answer it for you, then I'll get somebody to answer it. Yeah. And I never can answer the question. And it's funny, mm -hmm. a lot of men will call and be like, oh, my carburetor, something's wrong with that. Cars haven't had carburetors in a long, long time. So <laughs> 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 I'm like, I can help you for sure. Right? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, and he's all trying to sound all big and bad. Yeah, exactly. Oh my exactly. God, that's amazing. Yes, Are yes. you the type of person to call them out or let it go? You know what, in the beginning, I kind of was a little jaded, but you know what, now it's, a, you know, it's uh, everybody, you know, it's all good, so no. Oh my uh, God, I would I, have I power through. so many jokes. <laughs> oh, I'm that person. Yeah, no, it got me, like, in the beginning, I was a little, uh, like, mm, really, but now yeah. it just kind of happens, you know, it's just got to roll with it. <laughs> yeah, so. I would have let in with, it's right by the flex capacitor, yeah, sir. exactly, um, your yeah. blinker fluid is really, really Back heavy. to the future. <laughs> yes, exactly, oh exactly. Okay, so wait, you recently led a class for female Boy Scouts on car maintenance, so yes. was that important to you? It was, um, so knowledge is power and yeah. um, the girls need to understand how a car works and what's going on so um, I was able to teach them things like how to change their oil, check their oil, tire pressure, things like that yeah. and because I'm a woman in a man's industry they really picked up on that and I was able to show them other things like business skills and how to run a business and things yeah. like that. Does that make you feel kind of just so powerful? So you, bad. I'm like, I, I, I'd be like, I would, I would feel like, you remember my cousin Vinny? That's it? Oh my God. So mad. My oh, cousin everybody. Vinny that one scene when she was like, no, because the 67, like, she goes through that whole thing. Oh, my God, I love that that's scene. It. You're that's her it. in real life. You say that to me all the time. Oh, you have achieved greatness. You are her in real life. That's amazing. Well, we have two of Ashley's students dialed in, so let's welcome Radner 284 Scouts, Grace and Anne Marie. Oh. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Hi, Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Oh, my gosh, y'all look so cute. Oh. So, wait, so, Grace and Anne Marie, you got your badges, so did you enjoy the class? So honestly, I've never really been that interested in cars, but learning how to care for them was a really great experience for me. Um, I grew up like only really around knowing male mechanics, you know, so seeing Ashley succeed so much in that department, which is normally considered to be the workforce of a man was super amazing. So thank you so much, Ashley, for that. And another thing I really enjoyed about Ashley's class was that it was super interactive. Mm -hmm. I got to do an oil change, which was super exciting for me. And now I think that I can look at cars a lot differently. And um, I'm just really proud of the troop and myself. And I'm confident that now I can take the things that I learned from Ashley and apply them to my life and my parents' life should they ever need help. And just getting the badge was just really a good time. And I think I learned a lot. So thank you so much. Oh, that's so cool. Knowledge is empower it's empowering. That's so cool. What about you, Anne-Marie? 
Um, when I first heard about the badge, I was like, if boys can do it, so can I. So we learned <laughs> about like electric versus gas cars and how they differ and how electric cars are better for the environment. And I was fascinated with the engine um, and how it's totally different than the gas cars. And Ash Ashley did a great job at teaching us and educating us on the cars. And she's very inspirational with that. And um, I feel way more confident with about cars and the basic skills that if I ha have any trouble with in the time comes for me to get my own car, I know I can fix it and do that. Awesome. Yeah. It must, it must, you know, feel pretty good to know that, you know, you're not just an example for them, but you're making a difference in their lives. That's so cool. It's, it's so wonderful. I really, um, I hope to do car care clinics a couple times a year with the girls and I told them, yeah. if, you know, feel free to reach out and um, a couple of them will come and, you know, work with me for a day, that type of thing, just to get more yeah. experience and feel confident about what's going on. Yeah, and then maybe one day we won't have little girls going, well, it's a man's world, but yeah. I want to do it, you That's know? That's right. That's, That's exactly really right. cool. That's exactly Everybody right. should be able to, yeah. Everybody should.